There's something strange going on in Night City. And I don't mean strange like homeless people calling themselves Legion or random people walking up to you asking you for a password. The thing I discovered is much more subtle. It's always there. It's always been there. You've seen it multiple times while playing the game and in this video I'm going to spend the next 10 or so minutes talking about Cyberpunk 2077's Black Dog Mystery. Remember the first Voodoo Boys quest we got to experience? When we got to meet Placide for the first time and realized we don't really like him that much? That's where I first saw it. When we complete the mission in the GIM, we go back to meet Maman Brigitte. There's some talking that happens and then we head to the church in Pacifica. We walk behind Maman Brigitte, talk, and everything seems to be fine. As we take the right turn to go down to the abandoned Maglev train, we see this. You guys sure seem to love this place. But honestly, you don't give off a strong religious vibe. We left our gods on Haiti, yet we are strong here without them. This way. We don't know what this thing is officially. CDPR hasn't come out and talked about this graffiti in particular, but I believe I know exactly what this is and why it's here, in this church specifically. This is the graffiti showing us the black dog of Night City. There's been quite a lot of lore touching on this specific subject of the black dog and there's even a song about it. The entire song by Samurai, the black dog song, it's the main clue we need to understand what the Black Dog is and why it's present around Pacifica. If you listen to the entire song without skipping, then you already know the Black Dog of Night City. The Black Dog of Night City is Johnny Silverhand. And since we are already talking about Johnny Silverhand, a dog is not the only animal that CDPR uses to describe what Johnny Silverhand symbolizes in the game. Johnny Silverhand is also a cat. I don't mean just any cat. Johnny Silverhand is a specific kind of cat. In your life, in V's life, Johnny is the Japanese spiritual cat known as the Bakeneku. I could explain it to you, but I'm not well versed in Japanese folklore. Our friend Takemura is, on the other hand, and has a few words about the subject. Perhaps it is a Bakeneku. A Bakeneku? What's that? It is a cat spirit. It brings misfortune, can restore the dead back to life. Even ghosts? The relic lets you talk to the dead, does it not? I believe we are past belief. My grandmother knew many, many stories about Kitsune, Kappa, Bakeneko, too. Where'd you grow up anyway? I am from the slums of Chiba 11. Once when I was desperate to leave there, I... Ah, 
Bad memories washed away by time. I long only for the simple days of childhood. What else is to rule? Corrupt governments? The masses attached to feeders? Cynics? Nihilists? Like you? Come on, not everybody wants to change the world. Suddenly, this is true. You already forget what happened at Tom's diner? People hate corpse more than anything. Can't blame him either. Got some regrets, but clapping from Arasaka ain't one of them. Sometimes I wish to become a nomad, to leave this world, forget everything. Nomads aren't lone wolves with egos, whether they're blood or not. Family comes first. Yes, but we need not quibble over details. Do you know what I think? What's that? That day in Kompik, we both have lost someone important. And we are not at peace with this. So we seek conflict, argue eagerly. Finally started to make some sense. It is the duty of the living to atone for the dead. Hanako-sama shall aid us in our mission. Or she'll make sure we die for good. The Bakanenko got sick of us, looks like. It will find its own way. I don't feel the need to dwell on this aspect of it much further, so let's move on. Let's go back to the Black Dog Theory and talk a little bit more about that. The song that we listened to earlier was completed during an old mission named Black Dog. This mission is found inside Cyberpunk Red. The idea was to release this story much earlier, but Mike Pondsmith said that he didn't do it because of something specific that happened in the real world. He said, and I quote, There's an entire short story I wrote that happened at Ground Zero that day and how Samantha, the full conversion firefighter, ended up with Johnny's body. I was planning to put it into Aftershocks, but the day I finished writing the story, in fact, after 20 minutes after I finished, somebody flew a plane into the last of the Twin Towers. I had CNN on, and suddenly, it was no longer appropriate to release it in the face of so much real-world death. This more or less confirms that it's Johnny Silverhand's body that was being transported during the events of Black Dog in Cyberpunk Red. In the same mission, the song we listened to earlier was completed. So the connection to Johnny at this point is all but confirmed. But that's not the end of it. There's one last question I'd like to explore. The question is, is the graffiti we keep seeing real or is it just in our heads? I know it looks real in the game, but is it actually there? Did the Voodoo Boys actually make it or is it like one of those tarot cards graffiti that we keep seeing all around the city? Because if you remember correctly, those tarot card graffitis that we collect are only visible to us and not to everybody else who lives in Night City. In some ways, they are a visual representation of our journey with Silverhand. Personally, I haven't made up my mind yet. I feel like they could be in our heads. The Voodoo Boys are determined to make a deal with rogue AIs, and they know about Alt being in the net. They also know about Alt being able to perhaps assist them in their goal. This means that they could know about the Black Dog, and that being Johnny. If that's the case, they could have painted these graffitis all around Pacifica as a tribute to the Black Dog that will help them broker a deal with whatever lies beyond the Black Wall. What do you guys think? Make sure to comment your thoughts down below. Thank you guys for watching this one and I'll catch you guys in the next video.